Hello everybody, welcome back, Dimitri here. So yesterday we're gonna be talking about perfumes that my girlfriend loves. So I have a few scents with me, some I own bottles of, some scents, I just have samples and I'm planning on getting a full bottle. Others I will not actually purchase simply because I do not really love them. Um, know that in order for a perfume to be in this list, it basically has to garner a positive, spontaneous reaction from my girl. So. I want to point out the fact that I wear scents every single day and most of the times I wear more than two scents per day. So it's usually something that she won't pay a lot of attention to, um, but sometimes she will just be so blown away by the way I smell that she will actually just say something about it. And this list is all about that. So I'm not making a list about the most complimented scents here. I actually kind of hate that and I really do not respect the fact that most YouTubers uh, try to clickbait you into watching videos that are about talking about most complimented scents and I do not believe that you should buy a perfume simply because a YouTuber told you that you will get compliments with it, especially if it's a blind buy and I'm all against blind buys. You should know this by now if you follow me and I always suggest sampling first and the first rule in my opinion is to never ever buy a perfume because somebody else said it's good. Always buy something that you personally love since you're gonna be have, having to live with that perfume for a long time and it's supposed to be basically an extension of your personality, of your aura. It's something that will surround you with a beautiful aura and will portray an image of you that is actually invisible, something that is so unique and so personal that going for a perfume that somebody else said it's, it is good is nonsensical to me. So just go ahead and buy what you love, not what I told you to buy. Try everything I talk about today and then you can make a decision by yourself. Anyway, so let's cut the story short and start off with a very easy going perfume which is called Chanel Allure Edition Blanche. So this is a very summery citrusy scent, very classic in a way that certain brands outside of Chanel have done already. This is nothing uh, completely original. This is not the most artistic scent, but it simply smells good and does the job when you actually need a dome breach for the hotter days. Actually, do not wear these this if, when it's excessively hot because it's a bit on the sweet side without being sugary. It's simply sweet because it has a very bright uh, bergamot note with a vanilla note, which gives it a bit of sweetness, as I said. So cool scent, you can wear it any day, any time, and this is something that anybody will actually like. There's no way that somebody will say, oh, you don't smell that good. No, because this is just clean, sharp. It's in the classic cologne category. It's a really easy reach. So I suggest you give this one a try. It's not that expensive. It's a Chanel after all. Chanel just makes so many good scents that it's hard to keep up. And this is one of the easiest going, especially if you're young, but even for a middle-aged person as myself, it's a really, really good scent. So overall, Chanel Edition Blanche, suggest you give it a try. Not for compliments, but just because it's a good scent. Okay, so. That being said, we're going to head up to the second perfume, which is something that is very different from any other scent that I've ever tried. This is a fruity uh, benzoin vanillic perfume, ideal for summer and spring nights and even for fall, maybe for winter as well. Haven't tried it in winter yet. This is Une Nuit Magnétique by the house of the different company. Guys, if this perfume does not put a smile on your face whenever you unscrew the cap, then just go see a doctor and go get yourself checked up because you have a serious problem. This is one of the happiest, most brightest and incredible perfumes ever created. Christine Nagel is the master blender. She needs no introductions. She did not even use great quality ingredients with this one. She just mixed up 
a few uh, average quality ingredients together and created an accord that is mesmerizing and will be remembered for ages and ages. This, for good reason, has been rated five stars by Luca Turin. This one is one of those perfumes that when I wear, my girlfriend just loves it, loves it. It's so much. It's uh, really particular guys you need to give it a try because it's unique it mixes notes that shouldn't even be together fruity notes benzoin patchouli musk it's, everything is in this perfume it's uh, you can actually check out my review about it by words words don't really do it justice this is a fantastic mesmerizing experience give it a try sample it and it might not be for everybody but this one just makes me smile and my girlfriend too apparently, so that's good, it helps. Next, I'm gonna talk about a discontinued perfume. This one is easy to find around on internet, but if you go directly on the Armani website, they do not have it anymore. This is Rose d'Arabie. It's basically a combination of um, vanilla, oud, which is basically non-existent, and rose. So this is mainly a woody rose vanillic scent that is to die for a very beautiful blend that is quite similar to other perfumes that I'm gonna mention but honestly this one is really very well made it's extremely well blended no idea what it got why it got discontinued um, as I said this is very similar to Tom Ford uh, Noir de Noir which is the one that actually started this slightly woody chocolatey vanillic rose combination then this one came up, Rose d'Arabi. Then a perfume from the house of Sergev came up, which is called More Than Words. So those three are extremely similar from one another. So you can just buy any of those and you will not need the other ones. Uh, if this was still in the market, I would go for this one. Since it's not, you can either go for Noir de Noir, which is the originator, or more than words, which is one of the few perfumes from the house of Serge of that I've tried and liked. But it's not original, it's not that original. Anyways, so this one is another one that even my girlfriend uses because she likes it so much. And she's really into roses and vanillic perfumes, as you will find out in more of this list. Uh, honestly, it's a very, very good combination of elements. Fantastic scent. Rose d'Arabie. You will probably find it on the internet. It's a bit expensive, so, but the quality of the blend, this is the kind of thing that Armani should actually put on their posters, not the cheapies that everybody hears about, Armani code, etc. No, they should all go for this kind of sense. But anyways, they decide what to do with their own marketing. That's how the perfumery world is. So this is some uh, niche quality stuff from the house of Armani. Okay, so the fourth perfume uh, I'm gonna stay in this vanillic theme this one I've already talked about a few times she my girlfriend just loves this one she uses it as well this is called absolute aphrodisiac terrible name the brand is Inicio terrible name but a great blend this does not use very high quality materials they're all synthetic materials nevertheless the quality of the blend is pretty amazing even my sister loves this, she steals this all the time. Every single one that smelled this thinks it's one of the best smelling vanillas out there in the market. It's on the expensive side, of course, but it might be worth it if you want a very musky, animalic, powerful vanilla that just takes over anything else surrounding, surrounding it. It's one of the most powerful scents I have. It lasts a very long time. And honestly, uh, you can't really go wrong if you're into vanilla and buy this perfume. My girlfriend really loves this one as well. Even my daughter, she is three years old and my girlfriend takes this perfume, sprays it on her because she likes the smell so much. I spray it on me sometimes, but it's mostly for them. And whenever I spray it on myself, of course, she's gonna love it. She loves it so much. So very lovely stuff, um, absolute aphrodisiac. Go for it, give it a try. One of the few from this brand that I actually like. Absolute aphrodisiac has been talked about. Now we're going to the house of Maison Francis Courchon, a perfume brand that I really love. This one is not my favorite from the line, but it's 
pretty much everyone's favorite from this house. It's called Satin Mood, Oud Satin Mood. This one does not need any introduction. My sample is pretty much gone. I also have a sample of the Extrait version. I think this one is a lot better simply because the Extrait version basically enhances all the problems that this perfume has. And when I say problems, is basically the fact that this mixes a few notes that are smell a bit off. They are not totally um, compatible with each other. They do not stick very well with each other. This has uh, average quality, or I would say low quality natural oud. It has a beautiful rose accord and a lovely vanillic accord. But when you mix those together, Sometimes, unlike Rose d'Arabi, which is blended very well, sometimes there is um, an off-putting sensation. And when you try this perfume for the first time, you're either going to be like, well, what is this? Or simply fall in love with it. And my girlfriend fell in love with it right away. Whenever I wear this, I wear it for her own pleasure. I do not wear it for mine. Hence, the reason why I do not own a bottle, despite the fact that everybody in the world apparently has one. I do not think this one is the best from the Oud line. I really like the Simply the Oud better. I like a lot Silk Mood, which is a classic rose and Oud combination. And of course, Cashmere Mood, I am starting to enjoy it more that I kind of understand it. Uh, anyhow, coming back to Satin Mood, this is one that will actually draw a lot of attention to you simply because it has a very unique scent very powerful scent that will last an eternity. You do not need to go for the extra, just go for the simple Eau de Parfum. It costs $100 less or $150 less, and it's a pretty decent perfume, but not for my personal taste. For everybody else's taste, it's excellent, fantastic. Actually, out of curiosity, I'm just gonna go for it because I haven't smelled this in a while. Okay, yeah, so as I said, it's very weird at the beginning, but then it mellows out into a lovely vanilla rose uh, oud perfume with a very small dose of oud. A cotton candy-ish, kind of dusty. It's, it's lovely, but it's personally, it's not my favorite. So, good satin mood. So staying with the Maison uh, Francis Courchon, this is one that I actually like a lot. It's called Aqua Universalis, and this is a classic Eau de Cologne type of perfume with some musks and some floral note that actually make it different from most Eau de Cologne's. This is a very lovely scent, guys. Aqua Universalis, even my daughter loves it, everybody loves it. It is pretty much a perfect fragrance for spring and summer, a very dry but slightly sweet, but without ever becoming candy candied or too sugary. It's just very well blended, a fantastic perfume, a bit on the expensive side. So for what it is, I am not sure it's uh, for everybody's taste. It's just one of those perfumes that has the same DNA as many others, but a bit tweaked and blended in a fantastic way, simply because Francis Courchon is one of the best perfumers in the world. So he, he really knows what he's doing, even though I think that with his own personal brand, he could have turned things up a little bit more and created more satisfying perfumes. Still, I have a few of his scents and I am really happy with them and I'm planning on adding a few more. Aqua Universalis is not the first one that comes into mind when I want another perfume from this brand. It would be more like Lumière Noire, which is, as a matter of fact, the next perfume we're gonna talk about. This is incredible, guys. This is probably my favorite from the line, along with two or three more. Lumière Noire, and maybe the one of the top three perfumes that my girlfriend loves the most. The sample is gone. This is my second sample already. I have no idea why I don't, why I don't have a bottle of this perfume. It's just that whenever you get into uh, the world of perfumery and into collecting perfumes like I do, guys, it's very hard to actually remember all the beautiful perfumes that you actually want to buy because there's so many and then I discover a new scent and I'm 
and um, fixated with it and then I discover another one and I actually buy it before I'm supposed to buy the one that I thought of before it's just a, a huge world of uh, beautiful satisfactions and honestly Lumière Noire now that I'm actually talking about it brings a lot of good memories this one is extremely loved by my girlfriend extremely loved whenever I wear it it just puts a smile on her face it's I have perhaps uh, the best memories with this scent and her so a beautiful beautiful concoction that basically mixes rose and patchouli but in the most unique way it has some artemisia that uh, basically helps those two notes of rose and patchouli that uh, get together in a green light and herbal way it, the patchouli is never dirty the rose is very beautifully made. It's really ethereal. It's not a heavy rose. It's, even though it's Lumière Noire pour Homme, it's a unisex fragrance. I believe women can pull this off for sure. But it makes a very unique uh, masculine scent. It's one of the most beautiful blends from the house of Maison Francis Corchon or in general. A fantastic perfume, guys. Give it a try. It's really beautiful really really beautiful Lumière Noire so three perfumes from the same brand uh, yeah my girlfriend really likes Maison Francis Corchon really really likes it okay so next we're gonna be spending a few moments with a perfume that you might know already this one has been talked and talked about in a lot of reviews in forums and it's called Enigma from the House of Roja which is a very polarizing brand simply because they put out scents that are basically worth as much as a used car so we're not going to be talking whether if a perfume uh, can or should be worth that much we're going to be talking about enigma and that's it i don't want to go deep into the whole uh, discussion so enigma is basically one of those very comforting perfumes that is actually not even that expensive considering the other price tags of this perfume brand this one is a very beautiful cognac benzoin vanillic based perfume that is excessively sexy very very uh has very good longevity uh, it leaves a beautiful sillage around you and it's probably one of those perfumes that you would not like the first time you smell the first time you smell given the fact that it has so much eye hype you're gonna be a bit upset and think that oh this smells weird or generic but then a few days later as i did myself you're gonna be thinking about it and saying yo i miss something in my life then you're just gonna grab your sample and sniff it and remember that this is what you were actually missing it's one of those scents that you need to discover little by little the first time it would be off-putting and you're not going to be satisfied but then you're just going to start craving it like a, a fetish like something that you need and hence the reason why as soon as this is gone i'm going to buy a bottle but everything that i said is actually also compounded by the fact that my girlfriend loves this she is addicted to it whenever i wear it i leave a beautiful bubble around my aura and she just digs it she loves this stuff so I'm not telling you this is gonna be a great compliment getter as I said don't go for compliments simply wear a perfume because you love it and honestly I do love this one Enigma is a fantastic scent you can find it on discount do not I suggest you don't go on the website and go spend six hundred seven hundred dollars for a full bottle you should just wait for the right moment and buy it from a certain store that you know will give you discounts the way i do it so you were you will definitely find discounted perfumes from this brand on forums on facebook on certain shops online shops it's bound to happen guys wait be patient and sooner or later you will be able to afford this so enigma a fantastic scent fantastic really love it now talking about love here's one that my girlfriend loves probably more than enigma this one is lyric man she actually don't even think about it twice this one she loves it a lot more than enigma she's into roses my girlfriend is really a rose freak so this one it was a very easy scent to actually satisfy her simply because it features one of the best smelling soapy roses 
in the history of mankind and I really love it as well hence the reason why I have a bottle yes it's on the expensive side but this will last you a long time especially if you have a, a collection of perfumes anyhow if you decide to go with this one as a signature scent I suggest you use it for night time and special occasions even though it works really really well even during hot days and days in general it's a fantastic unique perfume that features basically a wonderful soapy rose mixed with some lemons and incense and a lot of beautiful beautiful spices it's an amazingly long-lasting scent it will project it will just portray a very elegant and unique um, image it's a fantastic fantastic blend and honestly this is one of my top perfumes hands down in my whole collection and of course I don't know if I told you this story already I probably did the first time I wore this my girlfriend said I smelled too good to actually go out and I couldn't go out <laughs> so whenever I smell like this perfume she's she, she goes all crazy she just loves it so much and I'm not allowed to leave the house with this one so I need to spray myself while hiding in my car that's a pretty terrible thing but I actually, it, I dig it, it's funny, whatever, it's how it is, you know, uh, ladies, we like to pretend us men are the boss, but in the end, the ladies the boss, that's how it is. So that being said, I think I have the last one to talk about, and this is, to my surprise, a perfume that she really loves, but I'm really happy about it. It's probably the most expensive perfume I will ever talk about, this is Sahara uh, Oud. So I'm not here to talk about prices, I'm here to talk about blends. And this is the most beautiful oud-based perfume that I own. It's basically a leathery, um, very natural smelling oud that features a beautiful rose, but this is mainly oud and some spices, and it's just glowing. It's one of those perfumes that will transport you in a faraway country, in a faraway continent, and as soon as you apply it, you're gonna feel less like some sort of a contemplative person, someone that needs to get in a higher state and uh, needs to get in touch with um, uh, another species. This is a fantastic blend. I also have a few samples of this one that I'm finishing before I actually touch it. I just wanted to show you the beautiful bottle. This is uh, amazing beautiful perfume that whenever you wear it it's like wearing a golden cape it's the the kind of perfume that nobody ever did this smells like nothing nothing in the whole entire world and it just makes you smell like a sultan like you're actually the king of the whole entire world it's a classy classy scent and honestly this could be a signature scent a beautiful beautiful signature scent and my girlfriend loves it because she says it's so different and she really is into leathery scents and honestly now that I'm talking about leathery scents I just realized this is not the last perfume I need to talk about uh, anyway this was Sahara Oud a fantastic blend from the house of Fragrance du Bois now as I said I still have a few samples in my pockets but I'm not going to talk about all of them because they're pretty much all smell the same simply because they are all very particular leather scents which basically started from this one and this one I'm planning on buying it's called of course Tuscan leather and to my surprise this apparently to my girlfriend smells perfect this is the perfect perfume for my girlfriend and I really dig that now this one basically started the this whole craze about leather scents and in my personal opinion, there's basically three different types of leather scents, but I will get into that in another time. This one falls into the category of rubbery, oily, leathery scents. It's a new accord, fairly new, that was created by Tuscan Leather, which spawned perfumes such as Aqua di Parma Leather, such as Black Saffron by the House of Byredo, such as Godolphin, of course everybody knows Godolphin from the House of um, Parfum de Barly. <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry about that. If you want to decide 
uh, that you need if you need a basically a leathery scent you can go for either one of these they all fall into the same category they all have different nuances some are more fruity such as black saffron and aqua di parma leather colonia leather some of them even godolphin is a little bit more fruity but this one has dry fruits these ones have basically a raspberry notes very enhanced raspberry notes whereas Tuscan leather is mostly uh, leather and basically a lovely boozy vanilla it's a fantastic blend that will last a very long time and will basically uh, garner a lot of attention for the right reasons it's a fantastic fantastic blend I will I'm planning on adding it of course I want to satisfy my girlfriend as much as possible and the fact that she says this is just the perfect scent but she said the same thing with Godolphin so don't think that if you buy Godolphin you're getting something less me personally I like to go with Tuscan leather simply because it's the original one it's the one that I feel is more complete it lasts longer yes it's a bit more expensive but to me it's actually worth it so you might as well go with it so guys ladies I hope you enjoyed as I said before, this is not about uh, going out and pretending to be the best smelling person ever. This is only about my girlfriend loving certain scents. And I just laid them all here for you. Actually, I have more. I didn't want this video to last an eternity. So if you enjoyed, I invite you to put like or just subscribe to my channel if you really, really like the video. I hope, I hope that you did. And I will see you again soon. Take it easy. Ciao.